So it's back. This is Coach Evans with Sip Tatter Presents Ravens Roundup. This is our second video of the week. We're going to talk a little bit about the defense. Everybody has been giving Lamar all these accolades and praises, and he's getting all the TV talk time on the, the major uh, networks and whatnot. But we're quietly forgetting about the, the job that Costa has done putting together solid pieces on the defense, and those guys have begun to gel and play extremely good. Everybody's going to say it's the Bengals and we should have stopped the Bengals, but the fact that the Bengals are paid professionals too and we went out and stopped those guys uh, shows tells me a lot about what we're doing defensively and it tells me a lot about the pieces that the cost has brought in to kind of gel with the, the good pieces we already have. So what I did was I took four four defensive plays from, um, from Sunday, uh, some which you're going to know, some which you probably didn't pay much attention to. Basically, I'm going to break them down a little bit and give you um, – the second video of the week. So this is uh, Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Presents Ravens Roundup, Week 10, Part 2, uh, The Defense. So this first play we're going to start off with is a simple tackle for loss by Judon. And I'll um, spot shadow him so you can kind of see where he is. That's him right there, spot shadow. And there's a guy that's going to, well, I'll just play it, and then you'll, you'll, we'll talk about it afterwards. In the backfield, tackle for loss. Great play. Now, bagging it up, you'll see him, again, spot shadow here, right there on the edge, bottom of your screen. He's untouched. And you can say, well, anybody unblocked can make the tackle. But just this guy here is the one that should be blocking him. He's pulling to kick him out. But you done come so hard. And the fact that um, I think this is mixing is so deep, the angle Judon comes that helps him defeat this guy but go straight to, to mixing for the tackle. Look at the angle. Didn't allow him to kick him out. He kind of dipped his shoulder a little bit to get up under it, and now he got a clean tackle. So basically he stopped that count before it got to him. Back view will give you a kind of a, a, a better look at it, but that side view is needed for that angle. This guy's going to try to pull and kick him out. I'm sorry, that's wrong kid, wrong guy. So it's almost like a buck sweep then, because I thought it was a counter. It's almost like buck sweep. This guy, one of these guys, are people try to kick him out, and he's just not going to get there because of an angle. That guard, this guard right here. He's coming to kick Judon out, and they're going to try to get outside. So I'm like, basically buck sweep. And with the toss, this is buck sweep. I'm sorry, I thought it was a counter. They're trying to get buck sweep out here. He beats it with speed. Beats 53 with speed. Makes him cut it back inside. But not only does he make a cut it back inside, he makes a tackle. Minus four. Let's look at the run fits on this. See if our run fits right. Should have some good run fits. Be Will in his gap. Wormley gets cut. Look at Bynes. Bynes staying in that A gap. Staying in that A gap. Staying in that A gap. Now, Quiz is kept. Bynes out of position. So if 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 Judon doesn't make this tackle, look at that hole right there for for um mixing. And that's maybe what he's looking at right now. Because he's on the ground, he's blocked. Bynes is a little bit out of position. But this is the first play that I've actually studied that Bynes has gotten himself out of position. Maybe not to say he hasn't done it since he's been here, but this is the first play I've studied where he's kinda of out of position. But good job by Judon uh, you know, just taking it out. The second play is the Peters pick. This is the guy they're gonna try to go to right here. He's going to run a little out route. Peter doesn't respect his, his deep ability at all. Any any route that he runs over 10 yards, Peter is not respecting it. He's sitting on everything short. So just watch him jump this out cut. And also, while you're watching, watch Bowser just destroy the quarterback after the pick. Bam! Hey, this is, what, two pick sixes for this guy in three games? Hey, this is the, the Costa MVP GM of the year moment right here. If this guy continues this. All over. All over. Look at him. He, he ran the route for him. Don't even see the receiver. He ran the route for him. Easy. To the crib. As Desi Banks say. To the pot man. 
to the pot, man. <laughs> you know Daisy Banks, check him out. The cat's funny. Again, next play. Say, well, I'll just let it play and we'll talk about it from there. And this is one of the plays you should know. This is the other defensive touchdown. That's Ricard. Ricard gets the sack. Bowser gets the fumble recovery for a touchdown. And I'm, I'm so happy for Bowser because he got called out with Tim Williams that's not producing. And uh, he probably was on the verge of getting cut. Probably on the verge of getting cut. But let's go back and see where it started with Ricard. Ricard's here, spot shadow. He's just going to beat two guys and keep working. Everybody knows Ricard's a motor guy, and he uses his motor on this play. Just beat two guys. Beat two guys. Bowser's a Johnny on the spot, picks it up, runs it in. Two defensive touchdowns in the game, you should win. You should win, you get two defensive touchdowns. Here's Ricard here. B67, B66, just keep working. Just keep working. And he's so excited for somebody else. So excited for somebody else. These guys playing for each other, which is amazing. You, you're not, we're not there with them, but from the outside, it looks like there's 11 guys being selfless out there. 11 guys being selfless. And on the last one is a sack by Wormley. And Wormley hasn't been getting a lot of PT, and you know, when he does get in, he does his job, but he happened to get a little shine this game. You see him highlighted right here. And, and it's really, to me, I think it's a cover sack because he holds the ball a little bit. So let's check out the DBs, too, uh, by the time Wormley gets to the quarterback. Got a two-by-two. Two. Nobody's open. This guy, maybe, but you got him dropping up dropping up under that. So nobody's open. Now the worm is right here, still working. Still working. Still working. Patting it again. They definitely nobody's open now. Coverage is all over. By now, Worm is free. Sack. Cover sack, but it's still a good job by Worm. to constantly work, constantly work. Don't give up on the play. Move one. The bull rush don't work. Move two don't work. Move three. Just keep working. Bounce off one guy to another. Just keep working. That's all we can do. Now, it's just a simple spotlight on these four plays. Uh, these guys that I felt did a, a good job of Sunday. Just, just doing their job. Nothing spectacular other than the Peters pick. It's just doing their job. Doing their job, making plays, playing for one another, playing fast, playing hard, and just overall having fun. Man, these guys look like they're having fun again. We hadn't seen a defense have fun like this in a minute. I hope they can continue to pick that up and do that this week against the Texans. Uh, DB is really going to be tested by uh, New Hopkins and uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, I think they got a little running game too also. You know, I hadn't watched the Texans much to know, but I know they got Hopkins which didn't drop a ball last year. And, and Deshaun Watson's a pretty darn good uh, football player at quarterback. But um, this is week 10, uh, video two of Ravens Roundup, uh, specializing in the defensive guys. And um, tomorrow or Friday, my Patreon subscribers will get their video. And I uh, haven't quite picked up the subject of that video yet, but you guys will get it and Patreon will let you know when it's out. And I'll also shoot you something when it's out. And again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like and comment, and I'll get back to you as well. This is Coach Evans, and I'm out. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel, my goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to patreon.com backslash sip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans and again thanks everyone for the support and head on over to patreon.com backslash sip the tally.